Right, we had a boss fight here, which is like slogging through the things one, once, once again. This, whatever this is. It's not a happy face. another fight which, which felt like beat to your ass or something to force men 
Cassius and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shia. You remained at my side throughout. And at the end, I sent you a way out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since. And I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! She's crazy. You fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You! Please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. See what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory. Uh yeah. Well, we we need only We only need one paragon, I think. First, the anvil then says, lays living souls, it must be destroyed. Second, you are right, it's too powerful not to keep. Uh, okay, more our choices here. So, basically, what we want to do... Uh, either way, we, we can complete this mission. Both both are right choices, but it's it's more like moral choice. And Mass Effect series was pretty good at this. They gave you lots of small moral choices uh, to pick from, and and then you actually made the game in your head. And and either either way, we are going to complete this mission. The Anvilian Sphere's living soul it must be destroyed. Yeah, because Branka is crazy enough to use it. And uh, there's king that actually hates his political enemies, or prince rather, and who would actually use this as a method of punishment. So yes, uh, despite dwarves needing it, it must be this. So it fights with Caradin? Good, that seems right. Have you no desire to discover this anvil's Morgan is It is a marvel, a tool of creation. You could rival the Maker himself with this instrument. Yeah, right. If you destroy the anvil, I swear you will regret it. You would not dare. <laughs> I would rather not find out. Fine. 
Destroy it if it pleases you. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, oh. My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone.
just need to keep Branka stun mode. That's something we probably need to do. Actually now it looks looks pretty even. Ah, except there's a two of them. Which doesn't make this very even. Sorry Ogren, again.
she's going to. All oh, right, she's going to recharge with the lyrium pain. So we should actually stop stop her from doing that. So she she probably doesn't stop. is actually vanished which is kind of a good thing I think okay so now she's going after another dream bane your wife we have good news and bad news first you are not married anymore that's a good news uh, but your ex-wife doesn't have a head Branca shield vanguard maze expert druid this could be pretty useful
to give away those gifts because they are kind of filling my inventory here. Uh, A fine gift. You have my thanks. Senseless based on your life. I lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Oops. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Shem. I am pleased to see you remain in such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> Yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? I need the Paragon's support to say like an for the aid I shall put hammer to steel one last time and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Sending for him. A trust in all tongue May you always find your way in the dark. Not a terminator ending. Pretty much. 
much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Okay, maybe he wants to talk talk uh, in, in a camp. What happened? of the assembly I call for order this argument order, gets us no order. then why these delaying tactics I call for a vote right now my father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne who would deny him that your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him I apologize for the interruption Lord Stewart but the Grey Warden has returned Well, Warden, what news do you bring? Well... Keridan was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Ogren's word, but it's well known the Great Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is a paragon lake, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? Okay, can we give it to anyone we want? Although, I don't think there's many choices. I mean, I mean, both, both of these dwarves are despicable. <laughs> no, no. No dancing around it, but actually, Palin is person who actually gets stuff running. So, at last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. And as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Uh, this kind of Guard, king. Seize him! You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the service. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Yeah. Our, our opinions didn't count. You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. His name need not pass your lips again. My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. Huh. This was a mall favored by my brother Triant. Take it with you as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... Good luck, Warden. 
May we both crush our enemies. You are stone cardboard. I've never seen the like. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Orden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface... Okay, we can, so we can actually it. talk them. Back to Orzammar when we us. win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. No, I've seen the Gollum or two in my time. We have them in Orzammar. It is indeed wise in the ways of the Gollum. It deserves a medal. Thing is, I don't remember anyone ever mentioning about them having memory problems. Perhaps they're not the ones with the memory problems. I talked to a golem once. I didn't have anything interesting to say, but its memory is sharp. It could tell you what you were wearing at the Barnack Festival ten years ago. Probably vomit and flies and little else, if I were to guess. Of course, if someone simply claimed to have lost their memory, that would avoid some awkward questions. Is it still talking? It is not drinking, so it must be. Fine, fine. You go on and don't answer me. You'll screw up sooner or later. <sighs> Give me a moment. Yeah. Of course everything's all right. Yeah. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. Ah, oh, it's a sky. Stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Strange? Yeah. Strange is your wife turning out to prefer the lady. <laughs> Not living in a world without a bleeding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, daylight. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that did happen to him as well, so... <laughs> I did re didn't Raven, remember. Most offensive odor. And you're looking at me? Should I be looking elsewhere? Have you forgotten about the fish you stored in your backpack, perhaps? I was saving it. Won't be ready for the lie for at least another day. Even the chastened did not have such disgusting habits, and they consumed the flesh of the dead. Fine, fine. I'll soak it in the lie now. Have it your way, Miss Squeamish. Fly to the mother. You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my rep? Then <laughs> your son is a dung eating lunatic. Oh, my poor boy. I, I guess I knew, but I just wish I could have seen him one last time. Here. This is my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I don't have anyone to save it for anymore. I'd like you to have it, for what you risked to bring me this news. So, you remember your old master's name, right? And everything about him? Is it still going on about my memory? Such focus must be incredibly difficult for it to maintain. You don't remember killing him, or how you got all free-willed or anything, but you do remember the next 30 years? More or less. My former master did something to me which I do not remember. What is its point? Uh, how could you know he did something to you, unless you remember it? Let us, for argument's sake, assume it is correct. I murdered the fool on purpose, and remember it. Why would I lie? Because you... Uh, could do it again. Yes. I waited 30 years biding my time until I could strike. Soon my betrayal shall be complete. <laughs> exactly. I knew it. Ha! Well, do not tell anyone. I want it to be a surprise when it happens. Oh, no. 
Now we head back, back so, to the camp to rest and question for you, dwarf. Oh <laughs> sounds like you're passing a stone there. <laughs> get it? Passing a stone? I do get it, yes. My question is this. Had the Anvil of the Void not been destroyed, does it believe the Dwarfs would have used it? You mean to create more golems? Oh yes. Faster than you could squish a nug. So basically it was right this is in to destroy it. They would still inflict it on others. No need to inflict it. There'd be plenty ready and willing to sign up. Just as you did. There's fewer and fewer of us each year. Dark spot never ran out. If it meant saving Orzammar, there'd be plenty who'd become a golem, sure. Does it think it was wrong to destroy the Anvil, then? <sighs> no. Sometimes people need to be kept from doing stupid things, even for good reasons. It is referring to its former wife? Yeah, I was thinking I think the same. I statue should sod off and ask their sodded questions to someone <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. Item set bonus. Yeah, this icon, but it <laughs> doesn't tell how much the item set bonus is. Oh, all right. So okay, now we start talking about with this. of House Kadash. Is that who I once was? I find this difficult to believe. I am not a dwarf. Or at least, I'm not a dwarf any longer. If I was this shale of House Kadash, as Karadin said, there must be some evidence of my existence remaining. I must find uh, it. New, new meaning for life. There is another way. What Caradon said, it has allowed me to remember one thing. I believe I know where Kadash Taig is. Ah. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious. Okay, so what this we'll is find. this is her second part of the column's memories. So new quest. Hello, big guy. You called. I am hardly surprised. To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Our farmers wish to be oh, yeah. merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become this is, warriors. This is what he told. No one is going very well. As you wish. Nothing new. So, you and Alistair? Why the timpish look? You and Alistair, together, looking contented. You even have a glow about you. So shameless. So, how is Alistair? You know what I mean. Alistair and you, those long nights. He must be quite delightful. You wouldn't be so happy otherwise, I think. He's athletic. That's always nice. He is also good at following <laughs> instructions. <laughs> Most important he? thing. I'm very happy with this performance. Yes, I can see that. Sometimes he reminds me of a very eager puppy. Most men do, actually. That's a good thing. Men like puppies can be trained. Especially when it comes to dealing with them. Uh -huh. There you are. Wanted to talk yeah. to you. You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. I'm a little bit too. I was thinking... Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. The girl I knew in Orzammar. 
before I left, obviously. What? Oh, you mean, were we running? Ah. Uh. Oh, I... After Bronca left for the deep roads, name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Wait, you cheated on Branka. In other Wait, hand, she cheat? had a girlfriend. Ah, well. That iron thigh shrew had left me long before. And she cheated on me with that tramp Hespeth. Yep. I grant you, I didn't find out about that till after, but hey, truth is truth. <laughs> anyway, she left for the surface a year back, and uh. I haven't seen her since. Last I heard, she was gonna live with her mother on the surface near some lake. <sighs> Clean, bad lake, was it? Yeah, I saw it, I don't remember. No, no, I think it was clean bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right. Dirty good, clean bad. <laughs> but thanks for offering to take us there. You're a good friend, Warden. Now, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Aye, all right then. Old Grin's old flame. Okay, we have a like. This are our alliance. Hope they, hope they, hope they bring more more warriors than that. Here I am. Again, I'm game. Okay, nothing interesting here. So. All this time we've spent together, you know, the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles with the whole blight looming over us. Will you miss it once it's over? But that doesn't mean we would necessarily be fighting them together. I know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each other for very long, but I've come to care for you a great deal. I think maybe it's because we've gone through so much together. I, or maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Am I fooling myself? Or do you think you might ever feel the same way about me? Do you think I could care for you? <laughs> uh, I think I already do. So I fooled you, did I? Uh. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Uh, it too soon, was it? No, not really. I liked it. Good. I'll take that as a good sign. Make us bright in your beautiful. I am a lucky man. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to what we were up to before, lest I forget why we're here. Let me start up rules. Only eighty. What? Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Okay, he he liked it. I'll be in the max maximum. Plus one hundred. Hard man to. <laughs> At least I can play with, with this puppet and uh, it's a good with toy horse. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> um. How nice. Massive constitution. Something you need, my dear. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Join you? In your tent? Oh, that's not it at all. 
Not that I want to seem over eager. <clears throat> I must sound like a fool. Okay. You know that I've never been like this. I was He's turning quite her sheltered. down. Apparently. I you so much. Whenever I think of this, I, I feel like a bumbling idiot. All hands. I wish I could be better at this. I want it to be right. I really do, don't I? Ah, I keep telling myself that. I don't know. I'm <laughs> willing, willing to, get to it. Give, a shot. give it a shot. <laughs> you are. <laughs> right. I'm going to stop talking now. You know, according to all the sisters at the monastery, I uh, this was actually modded right version of of the of the scene. It could still happen. <laughs> sure, but if you get hit by the lightning afterwards, it hardly seems like an effective deterrent. You do realize the rest of our little party here is going to talk, right? They do that. Oh, sure. Now you say that. By tomorrow, it'll be icy glares and awkward silences right before battle. Just you watch. So, what now? Where do we go from here? Forward, I think. Maybe. But not today. Ah, <sighs> before we go, have I told you that I love you? I did. Well, it won't kill you to hear it again, will it? See? <laughs> Was that so hard? First night. Thing. I do not know how else to describe it. No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men she traveled with. Yet, I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that, at best, you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Believe me, I was tempted. Of that, I have little doubt. I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet, when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. And that is what I do not understand. Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend, perhaps even a sister. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy, of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. What are you gonna approach? <laughs> 